Hello everyone and welcome back to the Redux Toolkit introduction. In this video we're going to look at slices and how we can combine actions and reducers into one single command that will greatly reduce the amount of boilerplate code that we have to write. So let's get started. We're going to create a slices folder and in here we're going to do a book slice.js here we're gonna import create slice from the toolkit then we're gonna have our initial state as before an object with a box key then we're gonna have another constant this time we're gonna call it book slice instead of book reducer and we're gonna call the create slice method now this method takes a configuration object instead of different parameters. So the first parameter is gonna be a name. We're gonna call it box. Then it's the initial state. And then it's an object with the reducer key to which we can add as many uh, reducers similarly to what we had here so cases for the builder we can add them to this reducer so we can say we want an add book reducer and this is going to be a function that takes the state that gets the state and the action and here in this we have our update logic for that reducer so as we had before we have state.box.push and we're gonna push action.payload the next one is gonna be delete book again we get the state and the action and this time we have state.box box equals state.box filter book 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 id is not equal to action action dot payload dot id so the same as before it's the exact same reducer that we had for delete book here we just created it another way but now the awesome part about this i'm just going to console log it i'm gonna console log the book slice just so we can see it is that it will create our actions so create action and create reducer it will do everything that uh, that we needed to do in just one place so no more creating actions and reducers separately we don't even have to create the reducer anymore. We just give it a name here and this will be the name of that action. And usually we export as named exports the, uh, the action creators. Is We're gonna get them from the book slice dot actions and uh, the def default export is gonna be the book slice dot reducer so here we export as named exports the the action creators and we get we export default the reducer now we just have to replace our normal actions and reducers from uh, in every place that we use them in uh, in our app so here instead of importing our book reducer from the reducers we get it from slices book slice again in the library we get the delete action from store slices book slice remember we exported it as a named export and in add book we get the add book action again from the store slices and book slice so now if we go to our app 
you can see our state remains the same so nothing changed here it's still box it's the name we have given it and now if we add a new book you will see the name of that action creator of that action actually changed a little so it gets the name from if we go into the slice slice it gets this name slash and the name of the action that we we give here but our app works exactly the same and if we look at it we have this code compared with two different files it may not look like much because we don't have as much boilerplate code here but if we would compare the slice approach with the normal way of using redux this would reduce our code for a bigger application maybe by it would be like half the size so that's a significant increase and it forces us to split our redux logic into slices that handle the same thing in a later video we will look at how we can actually handle inside our slice other actions that were created in other parts of our uh, application not uh, in this specific slice but for now on i hope you manage to get a better understanding of this amazing library leave your feedback in the comments below if you appreciate it and subscribe to see more videos in the future thank you all for joining have a nice day and stay safe